one of the most visited sites in the world. One of the most important sites in the world. The Giza Plateau. What an experience. Being inside the Great Pyramid of Giza, only our group is to be in there. And to have the chance to enter all the chambers. The King's Chamber, the Queen's Chamber, and even the Subterranean Chamber. It is such a unique experience being in this site and having the site for ourselves. So our group is the only group right now in the Giza Plateau. Okay, everybody, how was it inside? It was good. So, um, right now it's time to go and meet Dr. Hawass at the Sphinx. You will be able to touch the Sphinx. You'll be able to uh, be between the front paws of the Sphinx. Nobody is allowed to go down to the area of the Sphinx. People can only see the Sphinx from up here. I never believe that this king who built this pyramid will be buried in a small sarcophagus like this. And this is why I do believe that the burial chamber, the real burial chamber of Kufu still exists inside the pyramid. Such a magical place. It is so quiet right now, and nobody is here except for us. You can only hear the voice of Dr. Hawass telling our group all about the Sphinx, talking about the Giza pyramids and the mysteries behind building those pyramids. If you visit Egypt with us, with Archaeological Path, you will have the chance to do the same thing our group is doing right now. Right now, they're following Dr. Hawass around the Sphinx. People usually take pictures of the Sphinx from far away, but it is something to be able to be here right now. If you wanna go touch the Sphinx, if you wanna take pictures from different angles, it is such an experience only with archeological path. The Great Sphinx, the most important monument all over Egypt, can be just for you. You can go inside the Great Sphinx enclosure to the place that no one can go. You can be between the great poles of the Great Sphinx with Dr. Zahi Hawass himself, talking about ancient Egypt, talking about his discoveries, talking about his 20 years of work in Giza Plateau. Can you tell us about your first impressions after those two days in Egypt? Today has been mind-blowing with getting inside the Great Pyramid and the Sphinx complex alone without other people there. And um, it's more than I imagined, you know, it's almost hard to put into words. Well, it's overwhelming, you know, it's what you've always seen since you were a little girl and uh, you're finally there looking at it. What about uh, the Great Pyramid and the Giza Plateau this well, morning just for our group? Oh, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. We were sitting there just casually among the paws of the, the various paws of the Sphinx. It was exciting. That was really prestigious. I feel like I am a queen's daughter. <laughs> I encourage you to come visit because it's so far no problems at all.
The first days have been amazing. Everything's organized. We're having a wonderful time. I feel very safe. The people in Egypt are very friendly, very welcoming. They're very happy to have us here. Everyone should visit Egypt. It's a trip of a lifetime. Uh, uh, it's amazing. I waited my whole life to come. And I read about it as a little girl and dreamed about it. And this is the first time I've gotten to come and I'm in my 70s and it's worth every minute. It's worth every minute. Not only ancient historical sites that we visit, but also modern historical places. Right now with Archaeological Path, we're visiting Sadat's house, the president of Egypt between 1970 and 1981. And we met his wife, the famous first lady of Egypt during that period of time, Mrs. Jahan Sadat. She was telling us about her life, about her husband, about her children, and she was answering our questions. And right now, Mrs. Sadat is signing books for members of our group in the personal office of President Sadat. Such a visit to a modern historical place can only be done with Archaeological Path, Egypt Royal Tour. It's my pleasure today to receive such wonderful group coming to visit Egypt. I wish they will come again and again to see the peace we are living. When you go to Upper Egypt, you will see Luxor and Aswan, you will see many monuments. You will see history which goes several thousands of years ago. You will enjoy your stay between the very nice people, the Egyptian people are very warm, very hospitable. Enjoy every minute here and tell friends that Egypt is very peaceful. I wish you come back again. Thank you. Gregory, our guests are asking me constantly how you are able to prepare such fantastic tours. You know it's a big team of course, but we wanted to offer for our guests the tour completely different than in all travel agencies. We prepared Egypt Royal Tour offer. On our tours, we arrange with the Ministry of Antiquities special entrances to the sites that no one can go, like the Great Sphinx enclosure. So you cannot do this on different standard tours. You can go to Great Pyramid privately. You can meet Dr. Zahi Hawass. He's talking about 20 years of his excavations in Giza Plateau and all over Egypt. We arrange private entrance to the Luxor Temple after hours. Only our group can experience the entire Luxor Temple after opening hours. But we still have more to offer. Like in this September, we open it for our guests the Step Pyramid for the first time. The pyramid, the Step Pyramid of Djoser, is the oldest pyramid ever built. It was always closed for public, but we opened it, the pyramid, for the first time. So to sum up everything, it's not about to see Egypt, it's about to experience Egypt. We're always trying to do our best to ensure our guests that, you know, we are here for them. We hope that more people will come, Egypt is safe, there is no country like Egypt that you can find the antiquities, the Nile, the desert. We hope that with us, you will experience Egypt like no one else.